As part of the 2014-15 GMAC Men's and Women's Basketball Preseason Previews, we are joined now by Central State University. First, we'd like to welcome women's head coach Sheba Harris, entering her sixth year at the helm of the Lady Marauders program. Coach, a uh, tough year in terms of the win-loss record last season, but with your top four leading scores back, what kind of strides do you envision the program making this year? Well, first, we had a very down season last year. We suffered a lot of injuries, and, you know, with four of our um, top scorers returning, with the team chemistry and the recruitment that I have um, brought in, I'm hoping for a successful season and just to go out there and just get the job done. So I have um, a lot of hopes for our players to go out there and just work together and just bring that experience back this year and get the job done. As is the case with every program around the country, this is a chance to start with a clean slate and that 0-0 zero and zero record. What progress are you looking for from your team during the preseason? You know, preseason, I think we had a, a tremendous conditioning schedule and workout. Um, we implemented a lot more strength training to avoid injuries. And again, that team chemistry that they have built, I'm, I'm just ready for the team to go out there and execute. Um, everything we've worked on from conditioning to the chalk talks to, to, to the preseason practice. So I'm just ready for a season and just put it all together and go out there and just try to be successful. Looking at this year's roster, nine of your 13 student athletes are upperclassmen. How do you project that leadership and experience uh, into translating into growth for your program? Well, last year we had uh, eight of our 13 players. They were new playing with each other. This year we have nine players that are returning, and I hold them accountable. I expect the leadership to come from them. I expect them to, you know, to, to train and to be those leaders for our freshmen and our transfer. So I hold them accountable in getting the job done. They know the expectations of the program now. So I expect them to go out there and just be leaders and do what they need to do. And five of your players on the roster are over six feet tall, including yes. D1 transfers from IUPUI and Wright State. What advantages does that front line give you uh, in your rotation? Well, everybody, you know, that's a coach or play basketball, I know that having some bigs is a major impact. And it's all about executing, you know. You can be six foot and don't execute it. It just really, to me, doesn't mean anything. But to be six foot and go out there and execute, I think it's a tremendous help for us when it comes to rebounding, when it comes to defense. I just think we just need to, you know, go out there, get our hands up high to be, make the six foot look even seven foot. So I just think we're going to go out there and be big, be stronger, box out, rebound, and just be an impact on defense and get it done. Coach, thanks for some of your time this morning, and best of luck to you as you get ready for the regular season. Okay, thank you so much.